Welcome back. Courtney McEwen is joining us in the KTVB kitchen and look at all this fudge that she brought. She's oh. from O Fudge Bakery yes, and we're excited about this. <laughs> well, I'm excited to be here. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Well, when we talked, you told me that you can take any kind of a flavor of dessert or somebody's favorite candy bar and you can create a fudge classic out of it. Yes, sir. All these flavors here, they are actually... Um, our friends and family have requested fudge. I just came up with a recipe and did my best to make it. The watermelon one right here jumps out at me. I think that would be really fun for a kid's birthday party. It's fun for summer, yeah. definitely. Yeah, so so tell us about um, you know all these different fudge varieties here that we're looking at. So we have a little bit of a fruity side. We've got the strawberry shortcake. We also have the watermelon fudge. Some really neat fudges as well. We've got some with crust. This one is a pecan pie, apple pie, and then a Samoa cookie fudge. Oh. So it's kind of like the Girl Scout. Yeah, I bet I love that one. And that one's really fun. Yeah. Then I've actually got my homemade pecan praline fudge. Okay. The pralines are homemade. We actually will have the recipe for that as well. Wow. And then this one's super fun. Um, definitely one of my favorites. It's a trillionaire cookie dough brownie fudge. This one's got a hint of caramel in it. It's really good. Okay, nice. So you're like the Baskin Robbins of fudge. <laughs> that sounds yeah, good I to like me. That. I like that. <laughs> and you recently moved here last summer, right from Texas? Yes, um, Kerrville, Texas. We had moved up here and decided we wanted to bring it back and start making fudge again. A fun story. She says that you started cooking in a little one-bedroom apartment. And you had fudge everywhere, right? Yes. <laughs> it was cramped, super small. I'm so excited to be in a bigger So a kitchen. bigger place. Now, where's it going to be? Where's your business? Um, Boise Town Square Mall. We're actually going to have a kiosk there soon, maybe in a month or so. Um, we really look forward to bringing it great, to Boise. Great. So Good. Well, this is exciting. Well, do we want to taste some of these? Yep, for it. What do you think? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, no, we but, can definitely do so that. So, do you want us to try to guess what the flavor is? I mean, we mm. talked a little bit about what some of them are, but. That would be great. What's you just favorite? let me know what you think. Oh, I want to try this one. The, the Samoa? The Samoa. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Do I taste from here or over here? Um, Here's fine. Okay. We've got a couple pieces for what's, you. Guys. What's Jim tasting? Anything he'd like. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to try that one on the end because it looks really yeah. decadent. <laughs> And I feel decadent today. This does taste like the Girl Scout cookie. Oh, good. It does, but better. Well, yeah, thank you. this is great. Mmm, brownie on the bottom. Perfect. Dark chocolate brownie kind of makes it nice. Really good. So, do you get a lot of requests for parties? Anything like that? Okay. I do. Um, parties, weddings, it's been actually a really fun experience because I've made Cookie Monster Fudge for like a little boy's <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> oh, I love that. The little candy eyeballs kind of uh -huh. makes it fun. Um, I've done everything from Fruit Loop fudge to all kinds of crazy mm -hmm. requests. It's been really neat. So. so what's the process of making fudge? I've never done it before. Is it, well, is it hard? Um, it's pretty much my grandma's secret recipe, so I can't share a whole bunch of detail. <laughs> yeah. But I will say um, all it is is you got to keep stirring on the stovetop and mm -hmm. make sure it's not gritty and you're good to go. Yeah. You must buy chocolate chips in bulk. Well, all of your ingredients. I mean, you may make a lot of trips to Costco. <laughs> like that. I should have a gift card and a cape probably to Walmart <laughs> and all the food yeah. places around here because I'm there almost every day. Yeah. So. I think that's so neat that you learned from your grandma. I think a lot of us carry on the tradition. Yeah, growing up, she taught me how to make peanut butter and chocolate and throw some nuts in there sometime, make it fun. And well, you know, I, we posted it on Facebook, never really thought it would become anything, but mm -hmm. people just started asking for vanilla. And I was like, well, I mean, if you're willing to try it, sure. <laughs> and that's kind of how it started. Right, yeah. Well, you've got a lot of fudge here, but you've got a couple of other interesting things over here. Tell us about these. Yes. So this is my homemade pecan praline recipe. Um, again, we'll be sharing that with you later, but just a little bit about it. It's a cup of brown sugar. Light brown sugar is usually really good because it um, allows it for a lighter look. And then also a cup of sugar four cubes of butter at the very end and also yeah. a half cup of evaporated milk and again 
just to make sure it's not gritty, you want to continue to stir it, and you're good to go with that. Wow, it like melts in your mouth. Thank you. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And what are these? So this is actually a smaller, fun version of the apple pie fudge. And so I just mm -hmm. thought it would be kind of neat to put a little lattice on there and confuse people, making them <laughs> think it's an actual apple pie. A little apple pie. Mm-hmm. How fun. Well, this looks like a really nice Christmas morning for me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all Jim wants for Christmas is fudge. And I would love for you to actually taste this and let me know if that tastes like Go for it. Pie. Okay. That and the apple pie, because I've been working on that, and I think it might be a good one. Mm, that is really good. It is. That is really good. Thank I could sit here all day. So can you handle the rest of the show? <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're uh, working on getting into the Boise Town Town Center. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to contact you, though, about a party or, you know, catering, or they just want to taste your fudge, how do they get in contact with you? Absolutely. Um, here we actually have um, business cards, of course. I know it's kind of hard to get to us without having one physically, but... Our number is 208-789-9013. You can reach us there, also on Facebook, O Fudge Bakery. Um, we're actually launching our Kickstarter campaign since we just moved up here from yeah. Kerrville, Texas. It's kind of a way to get our business back up and rolling so we can do it successfully. And hopefully, you know, we'll be posting that link on our Facebook page and people can go check it out. And, and then watch for you in the mall pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And that's we'll a good post one. all this information on our website too, ktvb.com. So, O oh Fudge Bakery. Yes, ma'am. Right. O oh Fudge. Thank you, Courtney, for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for having me. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We'll be right back.